Hey guys, so if you're wondering if you need to winterize your irrigation system, and this is mainly pertaining to here in Central Texas, so the Austin and surrounding areas, this will be different the farther north you go, mainly the Panhandle, Oklahoma, and uh, all the way north to um, the northern part of the U.S. But for here, the answer is no. We don't get cold enough for long enough to freeze below the ground surface. So our pipes are safe. Uh, they're not, you're not gonna freeze. As long as they're installed correctly, they should be underground and you're not gonna freeze the water in there. The other reason is that we don't get cold enough and a lot of our plants still require water. It may not be very much, but it still does require it. Even our, our lawn does. If you see people who keep their irrigation running through the winter, they will come out in the spring a lot healthier and which will get them farther ahead faster for the, the heat of their, our summer. So like I say, you may not need very much once every two weeks if we're getting a little bit of rain, but you don't need to shut off the whole system for the whole winter, uh, depending on the rain we get, but you definitely don't need to blow out the lines like up north. We don't need the compressors and, and blow all those out and uh, basically just take the whole system offline. You can, if you need to turn it off, you just turn it off at the controller and leave it at that. On the other side to that, if you have what we call an RPZ backflow device, so you'll see them, they stick up in the air. A lot of times they're covered by a green bag or a fake rock that could be located by the house, or most of the time they're up by your water meter. This is, you'll generally have these if you have something like a septic system, a fertigation system, or uh, some water districts do require them. But if you have these and we do have a hard freeze coming, you will want to turn your system off and drain this backflow device. I, at the end of this, I'm gonna play the video from I believe it was last year that I covered this on. And if you ever need to look back on anything, you can always go to our YouTube page. We have everything there. But I'll play this if you have one of these right before a hard freeze. It's good to shut the system off, drain it out and that way you don't break these because these get quite expensive. They can be between two to $500 depending on exact, the exact situation if uh, one of these freezes and breaks because they are made out of brass, there are components inside and uh, they're not, not cheap to replace. But if you have any questions, you can just leave it in the comments below and we'll get it taken care of. Thanks a lot. All right, so if you have one of these on your irrigation system, this is your backflow device. It's actually called an RP, or Reduced Pressure Assembly. Uh, there's a few things you want to pay attention to in the winter time when we get to some freezing temperatures. And it all depends on how cold it gets and the amount of time. Uh, if they've got some type of insulation to them, or the bags, the insulation insulator covers, those can withstand quite a bit more. But either way, if we're down pretty low for for an extended period of time you're going to want to turn this off during the freeze and drain it out and I'm going to show you right now how to do that so first you want to identify where it's at normally it's going to be around the water meter up front or against your house somewhere uh, but what you're looking for is this device it's got two valves on it these we will not touch what we're looking for are the two drain valves which you may or may not have these but the important part is your isolation valve right here. So what you're gonna do is actually turn this off and now there will not be any irrigation water running through your system. So what we can do is turn these on to drain and you'll just leave them open during the freeze. And as soon as the freeze is over, you can go ahead and close these up and then turn the system back on. You don't want to leave your system off all winter because your plants and grass do need some they do need some water throughout the winter. But I'll show you go ahead and show you real quick. You just va close these back off. And then we will turn the isolation valve slowly back on. And now we have water through the system. If for some reason you don't have these drain valves, what you want to do is go ahead and close the isolation valve and then turn your system on for about a minute Then you can turn it off. Uh, that'll pull some of the water out of this and uh, help with the freeze. Uh, you always want to make sure to turn your controller in the off position and not run it without water in the system. 
Uh, hopefully these tips help. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below and we'll get it answered. Thank you. And just to be clear, not everybody has this type of backflow. These are specifically for anybody that has a contaminated water source on the property. In the state of Texas, we're required to use these if you have something like septic, rainwater catch, or even a fertigation system. They just have an extra fail safe in there in case the check valves on it fail. It'll dump the water straight on the ground so it doesn't get back in the city supply. Uh, most of the people are going to have a double check valve, which will be in the ground, normally in a large rectangle green lid. Those you do not have to worry about freezing. You can leave your system on all winter. Um, it's specifically for the RP devices that are up in the air. And we're mainly referring to hard freezes. Um, if we're below 32 for over 24 hours, then you need to worry about these. Uh, if we drop below 25 degrees for four or six hours, then you also need to worry about it.